But the team line up today, got a be honest, I don't recognize pretty much anybody. Uh, I'm a big Liga fan, a big Spanish football fan, but other than uh, German Valera, who is on loan from my club, a bit from Madrid. Uh, but other than him, I don't recognize anybody in the team lineups, which makes it interesting. We'll see who turns out to be good, who's not so good. And, uh, yeah, about 50 minutes to kick off, and we'll get going. Sixty minutes in, we have a goal uh, and then an offside chance as well. Uh, they put up the lyrics for the songs on the screen. Stadium all starts singing as the song ends. Uh, it hasn't scored a goal. Uh, it was a quite a special moment. So, and uh, some atmosphere by the ultra. It's amazing. Just recording this at half time. Uh, amazing first game, I uh, loved it. Uh, the atmosphere was amazing. It was actually quite a slow start after the bagpipes that came out. I don't know why there's bagpipes here. I did a Google, I couldn't find out why. Uh, but they came out, they had the, the intro song. Uh, I didn't get a great view on the TIFO, um, just about you know, too tight an angle. Uh, yeah, the game started quite slowly uh, and it kind of got a bit quieter. Uh, and then they put lyrics up for a, a Santander song or something. And he kind of got the whole stadium singing, and like, 
in too good a way to believe. As the song ends, Santander get the chance and uh, they go and score, uh, which was crazy. Opens the floodgates, games start to open up a bit more. Uh, second goal was also scored by Mbilla. Um, as I said, I didn't recognise anyone when they were reading out the team sheet, but when his name was announced, uh, he got a louder cheer perhaps than other people on the team. Uh, so maybe he's a goal through it, I'm not too sure. But yeah, he took away both chances really well, both down our end, so we've got something to look at. Uh, celebrations were wild. Um, and the ultras have been amazing, certainly since the first goal, like they've not shut up the whole time. So it's great. And Dora have been fine, you know, not terrible, but uh, not really creating anything clear cut. Uh, Guillermo Valera is easily uh, their best player so far, very fast, uh, direct down the wing. But um, yeah, if they want to get back in it, they'll need to be uh, a lot more creative and create a lot more clear chances. But uh, yeah, we'll go into the second half, I think it's already started, and um, hopefully see some more goals. strike into the uh, top corner from a very uh, tight angle but suddenly yeah the game's on its uh, flipped on its head only one goal in it uh, Santa Del went from a position of control to uh, tense 20 minutes really so we need to see how the rest of the game goes Giving a fair headphone warning to anyone with headphones on, European whistle is quite intense. Away from the stadium, uh, wow, what a game! Uh, I'm going to do a proper breakdown when I get back to the flat. 
at the moment I'm very late for the Madrid Derby and I might be meeting some people so I'm going to get myself to that, watch that, get back to the flat and I'll do a kind of round up there. Um, likely going to have to split the videos into two, like a kind of story and intro beforehand and then the actual game as a part two. Uh, I've got so much footage to try and break down and edit so yeah, I'll get to that. Well done Rastin Santander, vital win and uh, Al Padretti, come on. Oh, okay. Back in the apartment, um, it's about 20 to 1 at night. Um, got to meet some great people at the uh, Artesia de Santander Peña. Uh, I'm not going to get into the political game, it's not worth it. A draw is fine, fair, whatever. Um, here to talk about Racing Club de Santander. Loved it, one of my favourite games I've ever been to for any team. Uh, what a crazy set of fans, uh, really passionate. Uh, an incredible display, um, yeah, mega impressed. Uh, I think in the grand scheme of things that was a well-deserved win for Racing, I thought they were better than Andorra. Um, Andorra's goal, well it was good, you know, uh, really came out of nothing. I thought Racing created most of the chances, the better chances, so yeah, vital win for them, takes them up to only actually uh, up to 17th. Uh, opens up a four point gap between them and the relegation zone uh, however they've played an extra game today so it is a step in the right direction for them uh, they didn't look like a side that was fighting relegation but you could feel that kind of tension in the stadium that um, every three points is really going to matter for them uh, and the fans really know it so I'm up in about five hours to get my bus to the San Lomez I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be so tired I'm already so tired uh, but that should be another cracking game everyone I speak to uh, talks about the San Mames as one of the best places to go to in Europe, so I'm really looking forward to that. So yeah, I'm definitely going to keep an eye on um, Racing Club de Santander, I really want them to stay up. Uh, they're a massive team, uh, as I say, the only professional team in Cantabria. Uh, they really deserve to be much higher up and uh, perform at a much higher level than they are now. In any case, uh, thank you Santander for this trip, uh, thank you Racing Club for an amazing game, uh, thanks to the guys at Arteche Peña for the gifts and for welcoming me so well, and uh, I should hopefully have the uh, Athletic Bilbao vlog out as soon as I can after this one, so thanks for watching and yeah.